Hello all of my fans on YouTube, Nicholas Vankoski here, and before this video starts, I would like to humbly apologize for not making content in like the last two months, I think it's been since I've last uploaded something. Um, recently, like, uh, like, since summer is over, I obviously have to go back to school, and not only that, I have a job now, and before anyone asks, no, it's nothing extremely special, it's just, just handing out change at a fast food restaurant, just drive through, nothing no, weird, whatever. So, since somebody uh, told me that they are having, like, they just didn't know, like, how to uh, set it up or whatever, I've decided to go through the effort of making this little tutorial video on how to set up Plants vs. Zombies Online. So, first thing, you're going to need a Flash playing program, and I'll, like, put a download link to uh, this specific version uh, right here. Uh, thanks to, uh, thanks for, to, uh, it's P for P, yes, that like really popular Plants vs. Zombies YouTuber guy, it's P for P, for making this instructions. Somehow he found out how to set this up. But anyway, so install that, and then before, like, we're just gonna skip this, uh, you're going to need this thing, this thing right here. And, like, I don't know exactly how this works, why it's exactly needed, but, like, like, the game is just going to be like a black screen if you try to just open it without this thing. So, we're just going to install that. Okay. Alright, it's done now. And then, it is going to open up to this thing. Uh, so, you just click that. Alright. Install. Any time now. Okay, so, since Flash is obviously dead, and I don't know if that would, like, affect this thing, so, never check for updates, so that, hopefully, it'll never get updated and never get some sort of, like, kill this thing because Flash is dead update thing, I don't know. So, you do that, uh, and now you go over to this thing on, uh, Matt's GitHub page, and while we're on the topic of Matt, I recently found out that he did give up working on, like, Plants vs. Zombies Online, but due to, like, how, uh, due to how, like, broken it is, how all, how many things need to be fixed, um, and I didn't ask him, it was just some guy, some guy that, like, paperclips or something like that, yes, a weird name, but whatever, but anyway, so, go over to this, go over to that, yes, yes, uh, go, hmm, go over to tags, this, that and what you're going to need is the source code no wait not the source code you're going to need this my bad it's been a while since I've actually installed this so you installed the the build main build version 2 because this is the second modified build he ever he worked on so install that all right anytime now all righty then Okay, got that all installed, and just gotta wait for this thing to open. Uh, I don't know why this is always so slow. So, we got our Plants vs. Zombies Online folder, and I'm going to just quickly make a folder to put this folder into. So I'll be, this is, just hold on a second. Alright, so I've made my folder, so I'm going to just open my folder, drag my Plants vs. Zombies Online folder into this folder, and this is, like, you could just, like, ex you could just extract it and just have it just not be in a folder, but I'm going to do so because I'm pretty sure I already have a folder called Plants, called PVZOL, and I don't want that to, uh, conflict with anything. So this is going to take a while, so once again, I'm just gonna pause here. I'll be right back in a second. Alright, so it's done extracting, so we're just going to, uh, close this. There we go. And now we, oh wait, I forgot, hold on, I'm sorry, there was a, whatever, it's not important. So, before we actually start playing this, alright, we are going to need to get that, like, flash thing. So, we're going to open up the control panel, there it is, control panel, hold on, I'm gonna focus, whatever, that's good enough. Okay, so, go over to the searching thing, type flash, and then you all go, and you go over here, alright. And here it is. Here's the thing. So, go under advanced. Go under trusted location. Set. Okay, not location sighting. Sorry. Uh, okay, 
Okay, where was it? Um, or maybe it was this. Hold on. Uh, so go under. So you gotta. So click add, add file, and okay, uh, ignore this. Gotta find it. Wait, hold on. I could just pause the recording. Sorry about this. All right. So we are here. You gotta select. Okay, I think it was either loader or game, but I'm pretty sure it was loader, so we're just going to do that. Close this, close that, close that. Now we click on loader, or at least open it in, like, Flash Player, but I've had it so that, like, clicking on SWF files will automatically open it in uh, uh, the Flash Player. So just ignore that, and of course this did not work. Hold on. Alright, so I found out what I did wrong. So apparently I'm actually supposed to select the entire folder. And you could do that by clicking by clicking add and then add folder and selecting the folder that your version of Plants vs. Zombies Online is in. I am sorry for uh, making that mistake. Again, I haven't installed it in a long time and because like, I just relied on the first one I had, obviously. And uh, yeah, so once you've done that, just cl gotta close all that stuff. You select your version, you, cl you click on loader.swf, and it's going to load for a bit, hold on, why can't I hold still, uh, okay, any time now, okay, so here you go, you got Plants for Zombies online all set up, there's Crazy Day, the music is low quality, uh, we're just going to leave, because why not? And, yeah, I guess that's the end of the tutorial. I am I hope this was informative. I hope this helped you all set up your version of Plants vs. Zombies Online. And I hope you all have a great day. And once again, I would like to apologize for not making a video in, like, two months. And another thing I would like to bring up... Uh, is that I found out that I have re recently gotten 108 subscribers. And I would like to thank you all for helping me reach that. Like, I like I didn't, ex like, I was hoping that, like, I could, like, look, the whole reason why I started my channel was just to spread the message that Plants vs. Zombies, uh, Plants vs. Zombies Online's source code is out there, and it's somewhat playable, and that was all I wanted. I didn't want fame didn't want attention, didn't want anything else other than just to spread that message. And I when I would say that I have accomplished that at this point. I'm that that actually makes me very proud and I am just happy to uh to just show it to you all. So uh thank you all. Have a great day. Like and subscribe, share with your friends and family that if they are interested in this kind of stuff. Have a great day. Enough blabbering on about nonsense. The end.